What's up you guys, thank you for watching. So today I want to try out a pretty fun video that I've seen oopsies that I've been seeing quite a few people do and it just seems really fun to try out. And so this is going to be mixing all your foundation. The first two people I got kind of inspired from on their videos was Ling and from Alyssa Ashley. I'll link them down below. And then both of them in their videos mentioned that they got inspired from another lady, another girl, and so I'll link her down below too because I think she's the original person who kind of started this little trend. Since then, I've seen some other people do it too, so I will link those down below too. So yeah, I'm going to be mixing all my foundations, but I want to switch it up a little bit. I almost always mix two foundations or like a foundation and BB cream or something like that, and a lot of times I'll wear like an illuminizer, liquid highlighter underneath, or mix it. So just to make them a little bit different, I'm going to mix, mix all my foundations. All my little like BB creams and stuff and like compact cushions and then I'm also going to add in all my liquid highlighters and uh, like a little face oil like stuff I would usually kind of use under my foundation anyhow and just mix it all up and see what happens and it kind of reminds me of the little video series I did last year I did put on all my blush and bronzer and what I think I did put on all my highlighters or one of those, and then I think the other ones I did were just like a hundred layers of stuff. It kind of reminds me of that, but instead of putting them all on, like layering one by one, this is mixing them all up first, so. I have this little container. I think it should fit everything. Please don't fall. Foundations. Okay. The later BB creams and whatnot. Liquid highlight. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to squirt them all in. <laughs> Mix them all up and then apply it. And I'm just really curious to see how it's going to last. And I think that's it. Alright, here's my container. I'm going to start with the little liquid blender face luminizer things. So this is the by Fresh, the Instant Glow Luminizer. This is one by Yves Saint Laurent. This one is by e.l.f. And then we have this Revlon one. It's kind of like a peachy color. Okay, there we go. And I do like to add face oil sometimes, or at least underneath, so I'm adding a little bit of face oil. On to BB cream. This is what by Maybelline. I haven't used this in a while, it's kind of dark. Okay, here's a cosmetic CC cream, Claire Supple Blemish Cream. Love this thing. Ooh, this is Herborean, I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so this is by Maron. Maron. I don't know exactly how to say it. It's obviously like white. It's kind of like artsy makeup. But you know what? I'm just adding it in so I can have 20 total products. So I'm just scraping a bit off. I'm going to just scrape that bit in there. Okay. So I have a couple cushion compacts. Oh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to include this. Um... Scrape some of that off. Okay, and then I have this new one by Innisfree. Get that in there. First foundation is Urban Decay All Nighter. I have this Maybelline Better Skin. Neutrogena Healthy Skin. Oh, okay. There we go. The Elf foundation. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Okay. Alright, again, this is a Lancome stick one. I'm just going to scrape one more Neutrogena. This is the Skin Clearing. Come on. Come on. Alright, last one is this Neutrogena. Which I'm probably about to get rid of after this because it's old and like almost gone. Ah! Okay, get rid of that. Okay, so here they all are. Beautiful sight to see. Let's start mixing them up. Here it is. You know, I just remembered I forgot my Marc Jacobs Coconut Gel Dew Drops. But, oh well. Now let's try it out. I'm just going to put on some primer real quick. I'm just going to use this e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. Mixing primers in there too, but I don't know. I just didn't. Now let's try it out. It seems like it's gonna be a little dark for me, but uh, I'm 
very curious about this. Oh gosh, there's like a lot of white in that little chunk from the Maron. Maron? I don't even know that's how you say it. I thought I didn't mix it up good enough. Oh, this feels like cakey. I feel like I'm like literally painting my face right now. Okay, start blending. I'm gonna start off with a flat brush just to kind of spread it out and then I'm going to blend it. I'll probably use a um, brush and a beauty blender after this. Like a buffer brush. Gosh, I don't know if I just generally put on like too much. But this feels... Ugh. Feels like way too much. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm finger painting on my face right now. Like seriously. My lord. I think I just honestly just generally put on too much. Oh god. Start blending her down here. Yeah, I feel like I'm adding another layer of skin currently to my face. That's how thick it feels. But I don't feel like I added that many like matte foundations. I don't really even have any like matte full coverage. Alright, let me switch on to another brush. Like this one for foundation. Starting to look nicer now, for sure. I think it was just a little too much. Don't like putting makeup on my nose, but don't really have a choice today. Finishing off the blending with this. Hmm. I'll tell you what. It is not half bad. And it's really surprising because all the other videos I watched, they did the same thing. Like, when they put it all on, they're like, you know what? This is not bad. Doesn't really feel cakey anymore. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, this is really not half bad. It doesn't really feel too much anymore. It ended up blending out pretty nicely. So far, yeah, I'm actually not thinking this is too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup, kind of get pretty, and then I will show you guys how it looks. Alright guys, here we have the finished look. I finished up the look on live. Let me know if you happen to see it. Yeah, I don't feel cakey or anything. I don't feel like it's come out too thick. I actually still have quite a bit left. I could probably get another application out of it. I don't know if I'm going to, but I might just go ahead and wash it away. But, like I said, I'm not mad about how this came out. All my other makeup is sitting fairly nicely on there. My concealer was oops, my concealer was looking a little bit funny. It was starting to look a little bit dried out. But when I blended it in with like a beauty blender, it solved the problems. I love beauty blenders. It just solves all of my makeup blending problems. This was a fun little video to try out. Like I said, let me know if you want me to do other like mixing products videos because this was fun. I love the fun videos. And that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching. See you in my next one.